Good morning guys from a somewhat rainy Milan. We have no choice but to go out and film today if we're gonna show you this. We just so happen to be standing in front of the Milan Cathedral. Absolutely stunning. Believe it or not, it was only completed about like 50 or 60 years ago. 1965 and, I think? Yeah, and it took 600 years to build. It's crazy. a closer look to the crazy details of this building. I think it's entirely made of marble. It is, I think. Look at the colors. And then when you like start to pan up, as you can see, all these carvings are just beautiful. It goes up as pretty much as far as my eye can see. Look at the door over here. Look, that is absolutely exceptional. I can't get over this place. And we've actually posted a few different cathedrals on our Instagram feed, which you should check out, including uh, the Barcelona Cathedral, both Notre Dame's in Paris and Montreal, and every time we post one, people always tell us we have to see the Milan Cathedral. I'm so glad we're finally here. We are going to go into something else that looks pretty impressive. So we just stepped inside the Galleria and what is really cool about this place is it's right next to the cathedral and it also happens to be the oldest active shopping mall in all of Italy. It opened up I think in 1877. It has lots of high-end shopping here like Chanel and Prada and Louis Vuitton. Do you want to get a new camera or a new uh, Louis Vuitton purse? Camera? All the way. All joking aside, we are not going to buy a purse or a camera today. They probably don't sell them in this mall anyway, but if they did, I bet you they would be double the price of what you would pay elsewhere. I also still cannot believe the detail in this place. This is the most artistic mall I've ever stepped foot in. Everything from the floor to the etchings on the building and the dome, the light that comes in here, it's absolutely stunning. So now we're just wandering around trying to find something to eat. We're super hungry. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell for notifications of our videos. In the meantime, if you happen to be wondering where Milan is, it's in the northern part of Italy. It has about 1.3 million people, which is only second in populous to Rome. Looks delicious. We both got salami and rocket. And it's gonna try this out mm. first. Oh, the crunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Did we win? We won. <laughs> That's a supremely delicious sandwich. Honestly, the crunch that I just heard, I'm so excited to try this out. So here we go. Here's that crunch. Mmm. Oh man. The salami on this is so very different than we get back home in North America. It's very much like prosciutto. Uh, the textures and consistency are about the same as that. The bread is soft, super crunchy. Rocket is perfect. There's no dressing or sauce in this at all. It just all blends together really well and it makes it very pleasant to eat.
were just walking and we came across this random castle. Castello Corsesco. <laughs> Pronunciation's probably way off, but we're on our way to Park San Piano. And this is quite the grand entrance. All right, Anna's over here doing some research on the Googs. What, what do you got for us, anything? Okay, it's from the 15th century and was built by the Duke of Milan at the time, and it's named after this guy, Francesco Forza. And I think Da Vinci either lived here for a time or he helped decorate it, and then there might be some of his art inside. So there's definitely a moat around this place. A question for you guys, in the 15th century, how did they get water in there? I have no idea, but I'd be fascinated to know. I'll tell you one thing that will never get old is these castles in the middle of European cities. I mean, being from North America, of course, it's just so new over there. We've been to Europe a lot. If you guys watch the vlog, you know that. This never gets old, and I just love when we find these little fortresses in the middle of old cities with these moats. We want to know about the moats. How do they get the water in? Let us know down below. Guys, we noticed this cute little stand and they have uh, cerveza. Guys, we're going for Bira Moretti, which is an Italian beer. Up this guy, selling them right here in the park. So we've probably said this before in various vlogs, but it's always weird for us to be able to drink in public and just go buy a beer anywhere. It's so weird. We're in the main park in Milan and the guy there is just selling these beers. So, uh, cheers these. Cheers. See how it is? Yeah, mm, not good. bad at all. Mm -hmm. Does the trick. So we just came across this beautiful arch behind me. It's called Arco della Pace and it was built at the request of Napoleon. You know what it reminds me of? Recently we were in Berlin and uh, they have an amazing gate there called the Brandenburg Gate. So if you want to watch the video, click up here, I'll put it there because they look very similar. I had no idea there were canals in Milan. What the heck? Look at this. Guys, we just made it down to this area, which uh, like a, it's a bunch of canals. I thought it would be one, uh, and it was designed by, you just said... Da Vinci, apparently. Da Vinci, look, a boat coming there. Totally feels like Amsterdam or something. So this area is called Navigli, I think, or Navigli, I'm sure. I am butchering the pronunciation, so I apologize for all you Italians. But I'm so glad we came down here because we almost didn't. I didn't think the canals would be like this. There are beautiful homes and colorful buildings around. There are cafes throughout the whole canal. And another thing that we also read that you have to do when you're in Milan is go for an aperitivo, which just is like a pre-dinner drink and some snacks is where the Milanese people go to be social with their friends. And this is the area to do it in, apparently. So we just came to a little place called Meg Cafe. It's clearly very popular based on the number of people that are here. We ordered some cocktails. We also got a little plate of food. The moment we sat down, it clearly just comes to the moment that you're here. It's got some prosciutto, some breadsticks, some cheese, and a little bit of veggies. All right, I'm incredibly excited to try this out. This is a Negroni, and they make it themselves. And Campari is the base. Like I said, it's really red. There's an orange peel in there and some coffee beans. Let's, uh, let's try it. Oh, it's really good guys. It's really refreshing. It's making me question why I go for beer so often. I, I do like cocktails after all. This is great. Maybe it's because I'm in Milan in Italy that it tastes even better, but oh, if you happen to be in the canals, maybe check this out and have one of these. Guys, that place back there was so good. They just kept bringing out food because we were there just having some Campari. Like, does that happen every day? So it's been a really fun day. We unfortunately only had one full day in the city, but we really wish we had more time to explore. So, 
Just given the day, I'm gonna talk about what I was shocked about, and Anna does most of the research, way more than I do. I'm surprised how big this place is. I did not know it had the second most amount of people in Italy, so that blew me away a little. Even when we were making reservations like to go somewhere, or even trying to get to a cafe, it took us way longer to get to each spot, right? Right, exactly, <laughs> yeah. And for me, uh, I had kind of had like a, maybe a negative view before I got here. A lot of people said they didn't really like it, or it was kind of a gritty city, but I definitely enjoyed it way more than than I thought I did. And tomorrow is gonna be really fun too. We're heading up north a little bit to a little lake, maybe a big lake, we're not sure. Could in a big. town called Stressa. We're gonna be staying at this beautiful hotel, so tune in next week for that. Can't wait for that. If you haven't saw the last video, guys, make sure you check it out. We were hanging out in Shortage in London, and it was exceptional. All right, guys, that's it. From Milan, Italy, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.